Hello and welcome to Festive Fridays. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis. Now this week we are going to be creating spiral stars. This project looks a lot more complicated than it is and we're going to dive right into it. First thing we're going to need is six sheets of paper and they're going to create each individual point on the star. Now you can alternate colors if you'd like and use two different shades of paper or you can also just do it in one color like this. And either way your star is going to look stunning. So we're going to grab our six sheets of paper and we're going to begin by making a rectangle sheet into a triangle. And we're just going to fold the top edge down along the bottom edge, just like that. And once you have that folded, you can go ahead and cut along that edge there. And I'm going to do that for all six sheets of my paper. Okay, once we have those all folded like that, we're going to take them and we're going to fold the corner to corner the long way, just like that. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do that for all six of my square or triangles. Okay, now that we've got those all folded like that, what we're going to do is we're going to take them and draw on our markings for where we're going to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the fold is on the bottom here like this and the long side is on your left. And then this is where your ruler comes in. We're gonna line that up along the top edge, the open edge here on the shorter side and we are going to mark whoops yes we're going to mark and I like to use the inches because it gets us the nice even lines so we're just going to mark every inch along here so one two three four and then five. So we should have five ticks along the top. And then we're gonna do the same along the fold down here. So just like this, we're gonna line it up and every inch across, we're gonna mark. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we should have five and five. Then what we're going to do is we're going to join those lines. The first one, the shortest one on this edge here, we're just going to draw the line all the way across from top, from the top to the bottom like that. Then for the next one, we're going to line up our top here. I'm going to flip it over so I have the inches where I want them. There to there. And I'm going to go an inch from the top and start my line there and go down. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of them. So I'm going to mark, line up those marks, and then an inch from the top all the way down. And then again, here. An inch down. And then the last one. Be an inch and down. Awesome. So I'm going to mark the rest of my triangles and then once those are done, we are going to cut them out.
Okay, so once all those lines are drawn, you should have something that looks like this. And we're going to set those aside and bring them on one at a time. And we're just going to cut those right along the lines. The first one, we're going to cut all the way off, just like that. And then we're going to cut just to the end where those lines ended. Now, this gets a little tricky because the paper likes to shift around a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you get the lines cut. And then you should have something that looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of my triangles. Okay, so now we have our six triangles with the little slits cut into them. Now we're going to need our glue and we're going to take these one at a time and we're going to open them up. I'm just going to do one now to show you how we do. So we open it up like that. We should have something with a bunch of triangles cut into it. And then we're going to flip it over so that the fold is folded down along the middle there. And we're going to put some glue right on the tip of this triangle, just like that. And we're going to bring the one that is the same size on the other side up. And we're just going to stick those together like that. Perfect. And then we're going to flip it over again. And we're going to take the next one and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put glue on that tip of that triangle. And we're going to bring the same one over. And we're going to keep doing this for all of them, but we're going to alternate sides. So we did that way. Now we're going to flip it over and go this way. I'm going to go ahead and do it for the rest of my six stars or six points. Okay, so now we should have our six points made. What we're going to do next is we're going to glue them together. What we're going to do is we're going to take two and we're going to join the smaller side to the bigger side, right where the two points were connected. So we're just going to go a little bit of glue like that and then line them up as best as you can. And this isn't going to be perfect because they are all a little different. And then if you happen to have paper clips at home, you can just slip one on there like that to hold it, like that, just to hold it together while that glue dries. And we're gonna do that all the way across. So now we have a big side. We're going to connect it to a little, a little side. Okay, then we should have a row of six points connected. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect them all in the middle. Now this part I find to be the trickiest, but it just takes a little bit of practice. So you can do it all like that, and then we're going to join. So first I'm going to glue this together, just like, like this, point to point. And 
And again, I'm just going to pop a paper clip down here to hold those together. I'm actually going to do two overlapping so it holds them a little better. And then our last step is to join our last, our first point and our last point, just the same as we did. And there we have our holiday star or snowflake. Now the fun thing about these is that just like snowflakes, each one is going to be unique and individual because some of the loops didn't get cut right because of the way the paper was folded. So have fun, experiment, and see what kind of designs you can come up with. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next week.